الله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله ارسله الله بالهدى والدين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا اما بعد ذكر ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى في كتابه طريق هجرتين عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ان الله تعالى قال يا ابن ادم خلقتك لنفسي وخلقت لي وخلقت كل شيء لك فبحق عليك لا تشتغل بما خلقته لك عما خلقتك له ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى he mentions uh, this passage in his book Tariq al-Hijratain um, is a hadith of Qudsi where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the children of Adam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O son of Adam, Ya ibn Adam, khalaqtuka li nafsi. I created you for me. I created you for me. He said, wa khalaqtu kulla shay'in laka. And I created everything for you. I created you for me, and I created everything for you. Fa bihaqi alayka. لا تشتغل بما خلقته لك عما خلقتك له He says so based upon my right over you I created you for me and I created everything for you So based on my right over you do not busy yourself preoccupy yourself with what I have created for you over what I have created you for or who I created you for so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing the child of Adam, helping us to put our lives in perspective. He said, O son of Adam, I created you for me, and I created everything in the world for you. He says, so based on my right over you as your creator, do not busy yourself or preoccupy yourself with what I have created for you, and forget about the one that I created you for. He said, Ya ibn Adam, O child of Adam, خَلَقْتُكَ لِنَفْسِي فَلَا تَلْعَبْ He said, O son of Adam, I created you for me, so don't play with your life. Meaning, I created you for my worship. خَلَقْتُكَ لِنَفْسِي يَعْنِي لِإِبَادَتِي I created you to worship me. So don't take your life as a joke. فَلَا تَلْعَبْ Don't play with your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for worship. Allah says in the Quran, Am hasibatum anna khalaqnakum, Am hasibatum anna ma khalaqnakum abathan, wa annakum ilayna la turja'un. He said, do you think that we created you in play and in jest and joke for amusement and that you are not going to return back to me? I didn't create you to come here and play and have fun. This, is not, this life is not about having fun. This life is about work, about struggle. And in the hereafter, that is when you will have your enjoyment. This life is about struggle. So he said, I created you for me, so don't play. Don't take your life as a joke. He said, and I have taken the responsibility of shouldering your provision. So don't tire yourself out in search of your provision. It's my responsibility. I have taken it upon myself to left to be this kika. I have taken it upon myself to shoulder the responsibility of your provision. Your provision is in my hand. So don't busy yourself in search of your provision. As Allah says in the Quran, وَفِي السَّمَاءِ رِزْكُكُمْ وَمَا تُوَعَدُمْ In the heavens is your provision and what you have been promised, meaning paradise. Our provision is not here on the earth. Stop searching for your provision here on earth. 
the source of your provision is above the heavens. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in another ayat in the Quran, مَا أُرِيدُ مِنْهُمْ مِنْ رِزْقِ وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَيُّ تُعِمُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقِ ذُو كُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I have not created the human being and jinn except for worship. مَا أُرِيدُ مِنْهُمْ مِنْ رِزْقٍ I don't want any provision from them. وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَيُّ تُعِمُونَ And I don't want them to provide for me or feed me. إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الرَّزَّاقُ ذُو كُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ Indeed, Allah, He is a razzaq He is the provider. Allah doesn't want anything else from us except to worship Him. That's it. Ma uridu minhum min rizq. I don't want any provision from you. Wa ma uridu ayyut imun. And I don't want you to feed me. I don't want you to do anything else for me but worship me. Inna Allah hu wa razzaq dhu quwwat al matin. Allah is a razzaq He is the provider. The possessor of strength and might and power. He said, He said, I have shouldered the responsibility of your provision, so don't tire yourself out in search of it. He said, He said, O oh, son of Adam, seek me and you'll find me. Seek me and you'll find me. Go out in pursuit of God. We say, well, you know, people say, well, you know, I don't know about religions. I just think religions is man-made. I just believe in God. That's a lazy way of finding God. He put all of these signs in the world, gave you all of the faculties that you needed to navigate your way through life and find truth. Naturally, as human beings, we are seekers of truth. Children are seekers of truth. Children notice a change in mommy's behavior and want to know what's wrong. Are you pregnant? What's wrong? Children notice a change in daddy's, Abby's behavior and want to know what is wrong. Noticing that Abby is extremely happy all the time now. Something is different about him. They are seekers of truth. These are children. Children who are seekers of truth. They want to know why. And sometimes we stunt their growth by becoming authoritarians over them. Dictators, just do what I say, do. Don't ask me why. They're asking why because there's, that is their natural state to seek and to pursue truth. That is our natural state as human beings, to seek out truth until that natural state is altered to just become satisfied with what's in front of you, which is where we are today. And I blame technology. Just make us satisfied. Google it. It is what it is. It's on Google. It must be truth. We're not seekers of truth anymore. But that's our natural state. So he said, O son of Adam, O son of Adam, seek me and you'll find me. Search for God and you'll find him. If you really want to believe in God the correct way, seek him out and you'll find him. It's a lazy thing to say, well, I think all religions is me and me and I just believe in God. That's a very lazy way because if you needed anything else, you would go out in pursuit of it. If you needed a spouse, if you needed a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you would go out and seek it. If you needed money, you would go out and seek it. But when it comes to God, all religions are man-made. I just believe in God. That's it. That's a lazy way to pursue God. Seek me and you'll find me. O son of Adam, seek me and you'll find me. If you're looking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's there. Even us as Muslims, some of us have lost Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lost Allah. Seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will find him. You're constantly looking for a wife, constantly looking for a husband, constantly looking for a new job, constantly looking for a new masjid, constantly looking for a new this, new that. What you are actually trying to satisfy is the void in your heart that you, are, that you are missing, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you're trying to overcompensate and substitute. There's no substitute for God. There's no substitute for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're seeking, we're looking for Allah, but we're looking for Him through materialistic things. Material gain, we're looking for God through material gain. What you are missing is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you seek Him, you'll find Him. 
He said, Ya ibn Adam, utlubni tajidni. O son of Adam, seek me and you'll find me. Wa in wajettini wajetta kulla shay. And when you find me, you found everything. When you find me, you have found everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Allah sallallahu bi kafin abada. Is not Allah sufficient for his servant? Is not Allah enough for you? Allah is enough for you. That's all you need. In wajettani wajetta kulla shay. That when you find me, you found everything. You no longer need materialism. You no longer need another individual in your life to validate you, to make you feel good about you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does a tremendous job of making you feel good about you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-basir. He sees you. He's a samir. He hears you. He's al-khabir. He's aware of your condition. He's aware of your condition. While we're trying to get attention from everybody else to see our situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-samir al-basir, al-khabir al-muta'al, al-alim, al-hakim. He sees, he knows everything, he's aware, he's wise. So the point that I'm making is that we should stop trying to satisfy that void with other things Look deep within yourself. Perhaps the thing that you're missing is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps you're not missing more money. Perhaps you're not missing a bigger house. Perhaps you're not missing a spouse. Perhaps you're not missing children. Perhaps you're not missing anything except God. That's it. Ya ibn Adam, utlubni tajidni. Wa in wajadtani wajadta kulla shay. O son of Adam, seek me and you'll find me. And when you find me, you found everything. You found everything. For some of us, we found Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that was the missing piece to our puzzle. The missing piece to our puzzle was God. That's it. When we found him, we found everything. He said, He said, and when you lose me, you lose everything. When you find me, you found everything, and when you lose me, you lose everything. When you lose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I don't care how big your house is, how much your mortgage is, how big your car is, how big how much you make it in your job. When you lose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of that is frivolous. It means absolutely nothing. Because when you lose Allah, you've lost everything. Even if you believe you have everything materialistically. Even if you think you have everything materialistically, when you lose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you've lost everything. And when you lose me, you lose everything. Brothers and sisters, put your life in perspective. Stop believing that all you need is a new job. All you need is more money. All you need is a better vehicle. All you need is a spouse. All you need is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahi. Wallahi tallahi billahi. All you need is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah will facilitate everything for you. Allah will lay the dunya at your feet. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Law tawakkaltum ala Allahi haqqa tawakkulihi la yarazukukum kama yarazukut tayyar. He said, if you were to put your trust in Allah like you are supposed to, Allah will provide for you like he provides for the birds. They leave out of their nest in the morning not knowing where their provision is coming from, but they always return home with a full stomach. Always. They always return home with a full stomach. They don't know when birds leave out of their nest in the morning, when a lion wakes up, when a lioness, because she's the hunter, when she wakes up in the morning, she doesn't know where her provision is going to come from. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always makes sure that his creation returns home with a full stomach. It may not be what you want, may not be what you desire, but it is what you need. When you find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you found everything. And when you lose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you lose everything. Some people believe that when they are divorced, they've lost everything. My husband divorced me. My world is over. I have nothing. He took everything. How does somebody take everything from you? How does somebody take everything from you? 
And this will be the same individual that take off of the hijab, take off the khimar, shed every piece of the religion that they own. Because when the man left their lives, they left what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to. He took everything. How does somebody leave your life and take everything with them? All they took was the, the dunya that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had facilitated for you. Everything that we have materialistically in this world is to facilitate ease for us. It is not everything. It is to make things easier for us. Money only makes you makes life easier for you, helps you to get from point A to point B. Money is not everything. Although to some people it is. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you lose him, now you have lost everything, even if you have everything that you believe you have. And even if you have everything materialistically, when you lose Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you've lost everything.